Hello brothers and sisters. I wanted to do a very quick video for my cell phone uh, right now. My computer is being used by my husband, so hopefully this will come through quickly. I wanted to do a quick video of encouragement. Um, in John 8, 12, the Lord tells us, He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So Jesus promises that if you're in him and he's in you, you will not follow uh, the deeds of darkness or be deceived. It's like Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger's voice, Jesus promised, they will not listen to. As a matter of fact, the Lord said they will run. So if you're in Christ and his spirit is in you, Jesus promised that when you hear a stranger's voice, not only will you not listen, but you will run. In John 8, 12, Jesus promises that if you follow me, you will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So this is our hope and this is our promise. And I wanted to finish this short video with this promise here from 1 Peter 1, 5. You are being protected by God's power through faith for a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. This is our promise, 1 Peter 1, 5. You are being protected by God's power through faith for a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. So Jesus promises us that if we're in him and he's in us, that when we hear a stranger's voice, we're going to know it and we're going to run. He said, as a matter of fact, they will not listen to a stranger. They will run. First Peter 1 Peter 1.5, you are being protected by God's power. Remember, all those whose names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life will be deceived by this new world order system and the one world religion. John 8.12, he who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So I just wanted to encourage you that it's not by our power that we are protected mentally and emotionally from this, this cunning satanic world system. It is only by the power of the Holy Spirit who lives in us that he is guarding our hearts and minds and he is protecting us from being deceived. So I just wanted to put out a couple of scriptures of encouragement here uh, for you to focus on today. And he is the God of all hope. So you will not be deceived as long as you you're in Christ and he is in you. God bless you today. Thank you for listening.